Hello, this is John, filling in for Stewie again. Not every game has to test the limits of your computer's hardware. There are many great titles available that will run on just about any Mac or low-spec Macs in general. Number 20 is LEGO's Builder's Journey. LEGO's Builder's Journey is a meditative block-building puzzle experience, literally built on nostalgia, who hasn't played with LEGOs at some point growing up. The slow-paced gameplay is accompanied by a beautiful soundtrack, making Builder's Journey an excellent game to open when you need a thoughtful break in your day. It also boasts the most accurately rendered LEGO elements yet to feature on screens, which you'll believe after seeing how sharp the graphics are. LEGO's Builder's Journey is available on Apple Arcade and should be playable on all Macs back to 2012. Number 19, we have Unturned. Unturned is a free-to-play survival game. As one of the titular Unturned, you will have to deal with zombies, hostile players, and the forces of nature. Sneak, fight, explore, and craft across enormous worlds alone, cooperatively, or competitively. The charming graphics, deep gameplay, and massive player base are expanded upon with the Steam Workshop if you want to spice things up further. Perhaps the most incredible thing of all is that Unturned is made entirely by one indie developer. Unturned is available on Steam and should be playable on all Macs back to 2011. Number 18 is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Counter-Strike is one of the oldest shooters around in gaming. Counter-Strike Global Offensive makes a new argument by not only going free to play, but by having new maps, characters, weapons, and game modes. Not for the faint of heart, CSGO will challenge your reflexes as you take on opposing terrorist or special forces teams in rounds that reward performance. Just landed some sweet headshots? Spend your coin on better guns and armor in the next round to keep your domination spree going. But watch out, even a pistol is deadly in the hands of an experienced enemy. CSGO is available on Steam and should be playable on most Macs out there. Number 17, we have This War of Mine. This War of Mine is one of those rare games that's not necessarily meant to be fun. More of a drama or tragedy in game form, This War of Mine is based off real-life stories of war survivors. We're used to experiencing war as an elite soldier or hero, but here you are an ordinary civilian struggling for food, warmth, and supplies. Tense scavenging runs can succeed or end in a deadly struggle with soldiers. Your little home can be filled up with various survivors, each with their skills, personalities, and problems. Numerous scenarios, decisions, and randomized events make multiple playthroughs a must of this chilling yet fascinating experience. This War of Mine is available on Steam or the Mac App Store and should be playable on all Macs back to 2012. Number 16 is Minion Masters. Describing Minion Masters in a single word is impossible. Part MOBA, part power defense, and part card game, this hybrid mashup defies genre standards to bring something unique and addictive to the gaming table. Choose a master, build a deck of spells and minions, then dive into a variety of 1 vs 1 and 2 vs 2 battle modes. Games are generally fast, letting you get in a quick match or grind out hours on the ladder. The excellent tutorial, generous rewards, and free price tag make this one easy to recommend and introduce. Minion Masters is available on Steam and should be playable on all Macs back to 2012. Number 15 we have Don't Starve. What started as a seemingly small indie survival game has exploded into a hugely popular title with numerous expansion packs and cooperative multiplayer. Don't Starve is another difficult title that offers players an uncompromising open-world survival experience. Explore a land full of strange creatures, dangers, and surprises. Play and craft your way in randomly generated worlds. Just don't let the fire go out. Your sanity might extinguish along with it. Don't Starve is available on Steam and should be playable on most Macs out there. Number 14 is Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Larian Studios' fantastic first entry into the Divinity Original Sin series is a must-have for RPG fans. Team up with an AI or human partner to experience the complex turn-based combat, amazing spell interactions, satisfying quests, and impressively large game world. Divinity Original Sin offers an unheard-of level of freedom as you can interact with everything and everyone you see. Unravel a deep and epic story, experiment with the classless character creation, and make your mark on a reactive world. Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition is available on Steam or the App Store and should be playable on most Macs back to 2012. But for best performance, you will want a 2014 or later Mac. Number 13, we have Dead Cells. Dead Cells is one of the most intense and striking takes on the roguelike genre. 
an action platformer, you must navigate an ever-changing castle, assuming you can bypass the numerous guardians. With no checkpoints, you must kill, die, learn, and repeat. You can finish a single run in 10 minutes or an hour, depending on your playstyle. Dead Cells rewards both speed and patience as you like with a smart loot system. Colorful worlds, exciting combat, and multiple pathways ensure no one playthrough is alike. Dead Cells is available on Steam and should be playable on most Macs out there. Number 12 is Subnautica. Few games, if any, capture the serenity and horror of the deep ocean as well as Subnautica. Crash landed on an alien world, the only way to go is down, and there's no land in sight. Explore, craft, and survive the wondrous and menacing ocean floors. Develop equipment, find new resources, and construct your habitats. Enjoy the views of sunny reefs and underwater forests. Just beware of the treacherous depths, and what huge and horrible things lurk below. Subnautica is available on Steam or the Epic Games Store. Subnautica is capable of running on older Macs, but for best performance, you will want a 2014 or later Mac. Number 11, we have Transistor. From the creators of Bastion comes Transistor, a smart sci-fi RPG with top-notch execution. Seamlessly fusing thoughtful strategy with fast-paced action, Transistor invites you to wield an extraordinary weapon of unknown origin. The powerful Transistor can be modified in a wide variety of ways to suit your preferences and combat style. Hand-painted artwork, an outstanding original soundtrack, and hours of voiceovers elevate this moody indie piece into greatness. Transistor is available on Steam or the Epic Games Store and should be playable on most Macs out there. Number 10 is Oxenfree. Oxenfree is a supernatural adventure thriller about a group of friends who accidentally open a ghostly dimension while camping on an old military island. The hook to this game is the reactive conversation system that changes the story and your relationships based upon every decision. How you deal with your friends and the ominous creatures is entirely up to you. Oxenfree is available on Steam, the Mac App Store, and the Epic Games Store and should run on most Macs out there. Number 9, we have Sundered Eldritch Edition. Sundered is a classic action roguelike, taking place in a colorful and enchanting hand-drawn atmosphere. Play a wanderer in a ruined world, trapped in shifting caverns against hordes of terrifying foes. Resist or embrace ancient Eldritch powers as you decide on hundreds of upgrades and character builds. Gorgeous animation, chaotic combat, and epic boss fights make this game hard to forget. Sundered Eldritch Edition is available on Steam or the Epic Games Store and should be playable on most Macs out there. Number 8 is Jade Empire Special Edition. BioWare has always made incredible RPGs, but the eye-catching Jade Empire foregoes classic fantasy or sci-fi for an Eastern martial arts saga. Become a noble hero or devious villain as you determine the fate of the Empire with your actions. Meaningful choices, fascinating characters, and exciting real-time combat make this a great alternative for players wanting something a little different in their RPG experience. Jade Empire Special Edition is available on the Mac App Store and should be playable on most Macs out there. Number 7, we have Tacoma. Tacoma is a walking simulator but it is also a story-rich, sci-fi adventure that you won't regret experiencing. If you've played the developer's previous game, Gone Home, you'll find Tacoma considerably more accessible and expansive. Set aboard a high-tech space station far in the future, you can explore every nook and cranny of the environment and relive key moments of the crew's experiences as you slowly unravel the mystery of what happened in this gripping story of trust, fear, and resolve. Tacoma is available on Steam or the App Store Tacoma is capable of running on older Macs, but for best performance, you will want a 2014 or later Mac. Number 6 is Bioshock Remastered. Bioshock is already one of the best story-based action shooters of all time, so what could make it better? A remastered version, of course, adding high-resolution textures, challenge rooms, and a director's commentary. If you've never played Bioshock before, would you kindly play the remaster? Set in an undersea utopia gone wrong, you'll fight your way through genetically modified foes while turning the environment and even your own body into a weapon. Choose to help or destroy the mysterious little sisters and their behemoth guardians, the Big Daddies, to shape the fate of Rapture itself. Bioshock Remastered is available on Steam or the App Store and should be playable on all Macs back to 2012. Number 5, we have Avedon, the Black Fortress. 
Spiderweb Software has been making great retro indie RPG games for decades. Avedon the Black Fortress isn't their latest entry, but the start of a trilogy is among my favorites. As a Hand of Avedon, you have nearly unlimited power to decide the fate of those you meet. Great combat, compelling quests, and addictive loot make for a fun RPG. Despite the minimal audio and graphics, you can expect fantastic writing, a highly reactive story, and enjoyable exploration. Please note, while the full game is compatible with macOS Catalina, the demo for Avedon The Black Fortress is not. Avedon The Black Fortress is available on Steam or the App Store and should be playable on any Mac. Number 4 is Yaga, the role-playing folktale. Go up against the murderous legends of Slavic mythology in Yaga, a darkly humorous action RPG. Forge weapons with your own hands as you explore this childhood fable come to life. Bludgeon ancient monsters to a head-bobbing soundtrack, and choose how to complete quests with the reputation system. Multiple endings and deep but intuitive upgrade options keep Yaga fresh to enjoy. Yaga, the role-playing folktale, is available on the Apple Arcade and should be playable on all Macs back to 2012. Number 3, we have Florence. Florence is a newly released casual story adventure. Accompany Florence, a young girl feeling stuck in life until she meets a charming cello player who shakes up her dull existence. While short on runtime at 30 to 60 minutes of gameplay, Florence is heavy on the experience. A touching slice of life story about falling in and out of love, this game just might change how you see the world and yourself. Florence is available on Steam and the App Store and should be playable on any Mac. Number 2 is Dirt Rally. There's no shortage of racing games on the Mac, thanks to Feral Interactive's obsession with the genre, but Dirt Rally should capture your attention as one of the most authentic rally games ever made. No arcade action here, this is pure racing sim at its finest as you barrel along the dusty terrain, knowing that one mistake could ruin your crucial timings. Featuring iconic cars, over 70 stages, vehicle upgrades, and multiple challenges, Dirt Rally is perfect for the aspiring racer. Dirt Rally is available on Steam or the App Store and should be playable on all Macs back to 2012. Number 1, we have The Witness. The Witness follows up the brilliance of indie darling Braid with a brand new form of puzzler. Finding yourself alone on a strange island with no memory of who you are, you must venture forth to challenge the secrets and surprises of the island. With incredible graphics, an open world, and over 500 puzzles, The Witness will keep even the best brainiacs busy for a while. The Witness is available on Steam, the App Store, and the Epic Games Store, and should run on all Macs back to 2012. There's plenty of fun to be had with low-spec titles, since demanding performance doesn't mean a better game. There are lots more options outside the scope of this video, so be sure to find them in Apple Arcade, Steam, and other stores when you need a lightweight entertainment fix. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.